All right, what's going on everyone? Today is the 29th day of March 2020. Here to update you all on XRP. Before I get started in that, I always want to remind each and every one of you, if this is your first time, you guys appreciate our videos and our content of giving you forward price predictions and forecasts. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like and share the video, and then follow us on our other social media platforms. And if you'd like to learn more about language analysis and how you can do this for yourself, make sure you definitely join us on our website at hughfinancial.com. So now here we are going to talk about the price action from our last video that we did in xrp which was on the 26th day of march and the expectation that we was looking for in the market in xrp you all can clearly tell that we was looking for the market to see higher price now we only took tp right there at the resistance area so it was about five percent uh you know market profitability bagged on that particular forecast um but you'll be able to top it at the very high of the market that occurred on the 27th of March, 16, almost 17% profit at the top. So overall, the market definitely went the way that we expected it to go. That's old information. We need to go ahead and get rid of it now. And we need to talk about the future prospects of XRP continuing to see higher price. And obviously you can tell that XRP is still following that ascension line. That's all you need to know. Now, the question is, is based off the market action from the last three trading days, what happened? The last three days, the market in XRP has failed to tag above 18 cents. Now, that's crucial to the relevancy of XRP continuing to see higher price. If XRP really was in a bull market, the market would have definitely seen the ability of XRP moving higher price above 18 cents. That hasn't happened. Another thing, here we are looking at XRP on the weekly time frame. The market in XRP has found the bottom, at least momentarily. Right here, around 15 cents, the market in XRP found support, which is very good to see. This is literally one of the only cryptocurrencies that is seeing higher price at the moment. So right now, XRP, in the meantime, looks just to hold consolidational trading from a long-term perspective. We hit resistance already on this current weekly price bar in XRP, right there around 18 cents. So that's the issue that XRP is going through right now in the market. Take a look at XRP on the monthly time frame. You guys can see right here that the very wide spread from this current month, the volume is a lot heavier than not by much, but it's heavier than last month's volume and it's still giving us a probable precursor to strength. Is the market done with movement lower in XRP? I would definitely tell you that the market is trying to hold some support because back here, when XRP was launched on Bifinex, it came and held support right there around 15 cents and we traded there now. So we definitely need to see increases in volume for April, May, and see a liftoff occur around the 15 cent price in order to really substantiate if XRP is in a bull market, okay? So now let's take a look at XRP on the hourly time frame real quick. So looking at XRP on the hourly time frame, this is the four hour price chart. And you can tell that the market in XRP is not really giving us a lot of hints that strength is definitely still into the market, not yet. This four hour price bar right here is definitely a clue as to what is dominating the market so far in XRP. Another thing, look at the volume that came in in XRP on this particular four hour price bar. And have we rewarded the market based off all that volume it took for XRP to close towards the high of the bar? No, we didn't. So the four hour chart is leaning more towards market weakness. I'm definitely seeing weakness here on the three hour price chart for XRP. Uh, the two hour price chart is giving us some weakness here as well. So we're going to play the market in XRP with some movement to the downside. Go ahead and get rid of this market line here. I'm going to take it up a little bit higher because this is where the market found resistance at. Okay. And extend it out a little bit further. 
I'm going to extend this line here, the ascending line, up a little bit higher too. So we're going to play some movement to the downside in XRP, but we're going to have to play this on a hourly time frame. We're not playing this on the daily time frame. Okay. So let's go ahead and play this on the two hour price chart in XRP. And we're going to play some movement to the downside in this cryptocurrency. Um, already, you can tell that the market is trying to hold 17 cents for support, which will definitely follow that. But we're going to continue to play this movement in XRP to the downside, okay? So, yeah, maybe a slight TP around 17 cents. Take a little bit off the table there. So, that'll be about 1% market movement to the downside. But overall, we're still going to play some weakness and movement lower. We'll definitely TP the market around 16 and a half cents too. So that would grant us what? 3.89% profit movement to the downside. So all in all, I'm just expecting some really some sideways consolidation of trading uh, right here in between our forecast that we just put on this price chart. But amongst that sideways consolidation of trading, the movement to the downside is what the market is trying to do right now so that's why we're going to play this on the two hour price chart and not anything higher than that because the market overall is just looking to consolidate and if we're able to hold price right there around 16 and a half cents then that's definitely more bullish in terms of xrp trying to continue to see higher price if we go anywhere lower than 16 and a half cents then we're going to continue to move back down towards 16 cents even okay so i just want to give you all the playbook expectations and the forecast of what we're getting in the market for xrp questions comments you know where we at i'm done